Hey what's up guys, Betty here and welcome to Xbox On. And as you may have seen over the past couple of weeks, there's been a load of brand new information out for Forza Horizon 4 through Playground Games live streams, and I'm going to tell you everything that we learned from those streams, including the size of Forza Horizon 4's map, and I also had the absolute pleasure of going to Estoril with McLaren to get hands on with a real McLaren Senna, the hero car for the game, which we're also going to take a look at. So first things first, Playground Games every Tuesday for the next month at 7pm BST over on Mixer.com forward slash Xbox are going to be taking a look at a different season in the game each week. And with the seasons being one of the game's biggest new features, there's a lot to learn and discover. In the first stream we got to learn a lot more about the summer season as well as a few extra features that were originally teased at E3 including player houses and character and car customization. So with the summer season, like every season in Horizon 4, there are going to be some big environmental changes that will open up new areas of the world or help tailor to certain styles of driving. In winter, there are some more obvious examples with lakes freezing over, but in the summer season, we now know that certain rivers in the game will dry up and become more accessible or have less water in them. There's also loads of small details like sheep are going to be sheared in the summer months and there's going to be a lot less rain. But one of the biggest additions to Horizon 4 we got to hear about is player houses. There are 12 in total for you to buy in the game with the most expensive being Edinburgh Castle. These are going to be your main hub in Horizon 4. It's where you're going to spawn into the game, customize your character and so on, but there's more reasons to go out and purchase all of the 12 houses because each house you purchase, you'll gain a perk which could be something like having the ability to fast travel anywhere on the map, so it's definitely worth buying and you'll even be given a house for free early on in the game. If only that would happen in real life. Character customization is also bigger than ever. You'll have all these familiar faces to choose from and then a range of different tops, shoes, trousers and outfits to choose to help make your character unique to you. All the items are unisex so you can put any combination onto any character. If you're obsessed about a certain jacket, top or skirt, but like mixing up your character's gender, you can totally do that. And like most games, there are a range of different rarity items for you to earn and unlock, with a number of different ways to earn them, from completing certain race threads like drifting races, from wheel spins which you'll have seen from previous games, and then also the Forzathon store which we'll find out more about in the coming weeks. Another cool addition to character customization is emotes, which you'll be able to use at the start and end of races. You'll get emotes like a dab, or like the floss, and I can't believe I just dabbed, which is another small but I personally think really cool addition to the game. Now from your player house you'll also be able to customise your car, just like you were able to do so from the garage in Horizon 3. But what's really cool is you'll be able to see how your car will react to the light based on the season that you're in whilst you're looking at your car. But before making any customizations, you can also walk around it to see exactly how the light reacts with your livery from different angles. You can even climb into the car and see all the incredible details that the team at Playground Games have put into every single one of the cars in the game. There are also 30 brand new kits for cars in the game, which can completely transform how a car performs. We also discovered that you can now, for the very first time ever, customise where your wheels sit on around 150 cars at launch, which is going to give you the ability to customise cars to exactly how you want it to be. During the stream we also got to learn about the size of the Horizon 4 map for the first time, and it's around the same size as Forza Horizon 3. But with seasons changing the game, it's going to feel a lot bigger. Now I got a little bit of abuse for this on stream because Grant was like, it's not as if you've mentioned it before, but I got to go to Estoril to drive in a real McLaren Senna. There's only 500 of them in the world. And to be honest, enough of me talking, here it is. Oh my God, the acceleration. You did not get this in the game. The most insane thing about this is the braking. You hit these insane speeds and it just comes to a stop. Woo! Oh god.
It just puts a massive smile on your face. Oh, this is the best bit. The street. We're 220, 240, 250. We're gonna hit like 270, I reckon. Oh god, 280. Oh my god. So I don't think it works again, we'll have to go again. Oh, funny. <laughs> Honestly, that is one of the most incredible experiences and after seeing how it reacts in real life, when you're playing with it in the game, your mind is just absolutely blown. It reacts in the same way, it drives in the same way, it feels incredible. But do make sure to let us know what you think about Forza Horizon 4 down in the comments and remember over on Mixer.com forward slash Xbox at Tuesday 7pm BST we're going to be finding more about all the seasons in Horizon 4 so make sure to put that in your calendar. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, smash that thumbs up button, we'll see you guys next time. Bye!